Welcome to my channel, where we dive deep into the most compelling true stories from around the world. Each episode uncovers real-life events, from extraordinary acts of bravery to intriguing mysteries that... In a quiet suburban neighborhood, Mark and his wife, Emily, had built a seemingly idyllic life. They were well regarded by their friends and neighbors and their home was a place of warmth and comfort. Mark's brother, Tom, often visited, and the bond between the siblings was strong. Despite Tom's wandering lifestyle, one crisp autumn afternoon, Mark returned home early from work. He was eager to surprise Emily with a bouquet of flowers and a dinner. Reservation at their favorite restaurant? As he entered the house, he noticed a strange silence that hung in the air. Puzzled, he called out for Emily but received no response. Curious, Mark made his way to the garage, where he intended to place the flowers before heading out for dinner. The garage door was ajar, and a faint noise came from inside. Mark pushed the door open and froze in shock. There, in the dim light, he saw Emily and Tom in an intimate embrace. Their betrayal laid bare. The sight filled Mark with a blinding rage. His mind raced as he struggled to process the betrayal and his grief. Without thinking, he acted on impulse. He grabbed a nearby wrench and, in a moment of blind fury, attacked them both. The violence was swift and brutal, fueled by a mixture of anger and hurt. When the fury subsided, Mark found himself in a grim reality. Emily and Tom lay lifeless on the garage floor. Their once beautiful relationship now reduced to a violent end. Mark was left with the grim task of concealing the evidence. He dragged the bodies to a secluded corner of the garage, covered them with old sheets and boxes, and cleaned the area with grim efficiency. In the days that followed, Mark maintained a facade of normalcy. To friends and neighbors, he was the same Mark kind, considerate, and oblivious to the dark secret hidden in his garage. He continued with his life, though the weight of his actions loomed heavy over him. The garage remained undisturbed, a silent witness to a tragic and violent moment. Mark's once tranquil life was now, overshadowed by a haunting guilt that would follow him for the rest of his days. Nothing more. I've done as our brother asked. Till we meet again. Your faith has led you here. <laughs> Rest easy. You won't find those noisy chantings and pain screamings here. Hmm. <clears throat> A nice, ripe melon.
Mm. Want a bite? Mm. Mm. It's better than you think. Sun Wukong used it to trick that disciple of mine. Come. Come closer. Now you've found this place, I'll teach you a trick neither of them knows. Your hand. Spellbinder. It hurts no foe, but binds yourself. You'll come to understand its use. An old friend of Sun Wukong came to me, wanting some peace. I led him to the Great Pagoda. Have you paid him a visit? <laughs> they say you are the destined one. But if destiny is set, what difference do our actions make? <laughs> 